Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is the Square England Let's Play. And we're sat here outside the uh, the cargo and indeed passenger stations for Exeter, which is in fact our largest city on our map. Which, um, you, well, you know the map possibly, and we'll probably explore it. Now, I was planning um, in this episode just to take a look at um, some of our oldest vehicles and lines and get those replaced, upgraded as appropriately. Um, and also um, revisit our steel and and machine tools uh, production uh, process because uh, I think both the coal mine and the iron ore, of course, that's the farm. Um, they're they're really hitting production levels now. So I did start them off with fairly small consists on those trains. In fact, I might have upgraded them once. But uh, how many is that? So it's only got eight wagons on. It could do with more, I think. We need to start shipping more from there. But then I noticed here in Exeter, we're getting a build-up of passengers. Now, let me just pause this for a second so I can click on things I want to show off. First off, I noticed while I was just here was this big queue of traffic coming into the town, um, heading back out, uh, probably coming from Falmouth. And I clicked on a few people. Uh, well, should we do that again now? Uh, let's click a few. Um, where are you going? Someone going the other direction? And um, maybe you as well. So where are these people going? They appear to be all travelling between... Oh, you're going to Bristol. That's quite a way away. Um, between F Falmouth and Exeter, which is logical. Whitchurch by car. Oh, that'll take some time. Um, and there. And they're all fast. Uh, move, they're all fast preferences, fast preferences, get me teeth in, um, and the only link, as you will recall, although we haven't looked at it for a while, so if you're relatively new to the series, um, this may be, <laughs> may be news, is the only link we've got between the cities here of Exeter and the city of Falmouth is the boat, is the ship that transports them between those two docks. Now, I did actually, ages ago, change this so there was only one ship on that route. And that is actually quite a slow boat. Uh, it takes 100 passengers, but it only goes 17 miles an hour. So we might, I think, look at replacing that. Equally, when I was looking at the dock here in, in Exeter, uh, the other route appears to be very busy. Uh, off to Whitchurch, which is over there in the other direction. Um, there are very few links across the river here, in terms of passengers at least. There's an air, air link between Whitchurch and Coventry, uh, which is over the other side of that hill somewhere, uh, and that's about it. Um, so they've only can, they can only use the boats really, they can only use uh, water transport or the airplane. Now a lot of passengers will mix up their, their passenger lines. They will take a boat, and then a train, and then a plane. But obviously some of them, for some of them, that will be uh, too expensive or take too long. Um, so they will then drive by car. So I think perhaps we could start addressing this and reducing this congestion here in the, in the cities. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Do we have a replacement for this boat? I have a feeling that one... Yeah, we have, you can't select passengers on this. You can't select between passenger and freight types. But I think all these are freight, aren't they? Uh, most of them are indeed modded, <laughs> I think. Um, so the modded vehicles, I, I will put a link to the uh, Steam page in the description. And they'll also obviously be part of my collection on Steam as well. A link to which, again, will be in the description. Um, now the Whitchurch route, I think, there we go, uses... Zara, uh, which is a nice fast boat, 27, but it only takes 22 people. Um, the hovercraft takes fewer still, but goes ooh, a good deal faster at 58. So the question there is profitability. Uh, oh, they are both. Oh, wickedly profitable. As boat routes, they are very impressive. So could we? Or do we want to go with the really big boat, which travels even slower? Oh, that's, oh, that's difficult choices to make, isn't it? Um, I think what I will do... Actually, I do have... Um, 
let's get rid of that for a second. I was going to talk about that in, a, in uh, when I started, but then I realised things were changing. Uh, what other boat routes do we have? Uh, we do have the hovercraft here on the Kintbury route, the other end of the river. Well, that's quite profitable as well. Even though, yeah, the boats are 17 years old, they're getting a bit old. So I think we could. Yeah, let's let's replace, in fact, both these uh, with the with the hovercraft. Uh, so the Falmouth one, which is this one, which is the old slow one. Let's replace that with a hovercraft. Which is kind of, we are in 1989, so that's 19 years old now. But uh, there you are. Uh, yes, and we'll actually add another hovercraft to that route as well. Actually, should we add? I had two because that, that, that those boats were a hundred passengers apiece, so they were taking quite a few people across across the the, the water there. So there we go. All right. Um, so that's you done. And which church one? Again, what else? If I replace those. I'll replace, yeah, I'll replace those again with the hovercraft. Let's see if that works. And then we'll also stick uh, another one on there. So they do, in fact, both have three uh, waterborne vehicles on the lines. Okay. So we'll take care of that. That's just Exeter. Um, we may introduce rail lines across the water for pa passenger lines, passenger rail lines across the water at some point, um, but I don't want to do that today. Anyway, the, <laughs> the reason I started uh, on this tab here uh, was just to look at some of my older vehicles uh, and get those replaced. Stop clicking things you don't want to click. There you go. Um, so these are just some old road routes. Um, they're old vehicles. Um, they're not particularly profitable uh, one way or the other, um, but they are, I think, probably dual replacement. So we'll do that. Just see if that helps bring them into profit. But to be honest, uh, we are ridiculously profitable already. Yeah, some of these vehicles aren't in use anymore. And these are quite cheap vehicles. Whereas this replacement, the man, is it? Yep, yeah, no, that's somewhat more expensive. But hopefully the profit from that will will work out for me and the other one was that one that's it a proper fuel tanker we can put in there now uh, so we'll replace those okay right there are other old lines which we can deal with as well uh, we'll take care of those as we get down there now the other thing as I said I wanted to look at was the, uh, the steel production uh, so where are you yeah you're the iron ore I think we do have uh, another, an appropriate hopper in there at the moment. So that's the Naffy. Uh, oh, <laughs> why did? Oh, because I clicked something and it was waiting. That's why. Right. I, I, nasty second, then I thought the game had hung up on me, but it hadn't. It was just waiting to present all these uh, these train options to me. Um, that's the Naffy wagon, uh, which takes all sorts of goods. It's, um, it'll take anything, it's a universal thing, but it is a fast wagon and quite expensive. But we do now have a new modded iron ore wagon. Is it this one I was looking at, or that one? They both go 75. This one's more modern, so we could take that one, can we? It runs out sooner. Uh, that one does, that one, that looks like a hopper, but it doesn't take, uh, doesn't take ore some reason. Which one should we use? Well this one's lighter, that one's better then isn't it? Um, and it goes 75 miles an hour which is the actual speed of that locomotive as well. So we're kind of wasting speed on the naffy wagons so they're costing us more than they need to so for replacement uh, we have on there eight wagons don't we I think? Yeah so let's uh, put more on there and I think as well these wagons they take 15 whereas the naffy takes 14 so there's an increase in capacity as well which is all good so we'll add another couple on there and make that 10 so let's uh, replace now there we go 
No. Oh, and you've just left. <laughs> that wasn't very well timed, was it? Uh, likewise, the coal here. Again, we're using the Naffy wagon. Uh, which we can get rid of. Unfortunately, that, uh, don't replace that. We want to change that. There we go. Um, is there... That one's... That goes 99. Uh... We need something else which takes coal. 62, that's too slow. You don't take coal. Nor do you. And these hoppers don't take coal, which is kind of annoying. Uh, does anything else... What else? Does anything else take coal? These don't look like they should because they're box cars, aren't they? Of some description. That's a tank. You won't take coal. You're a liquid. Uh, no coal there. Hmm. I'm not quite sure yeah, why these don't take coal. I would have thought hoppers, coal or slag, it's all the same kind of thing, but they don't. But there you are, that's a, a decision the modder made, and I'm sure there was some jolly good reason for it. Um, the open wagon. You take 13. 145 a year. On the, yeah, as opposed to 156. Could change it to you. We could use that. No, that goes slower, doesn't it? Actually, no, we could go slower. There's no, no, I don't have a problem with that. Cause it's not a terribly long line from the. Um, get this out of the way so you can see. It's not a terribly long line from the coal mine to the steel factory. So yeah, 62 isn't. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that actually. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, does it take? It does take considerably more, so uh, that's all to the good. There we go, and we'll replace you. Okay, and likewise on the steel, we've got ten on there already. Um, oh no, you're the coal. <laughs> you're the coal line. Where's the steel one? There you are. Uh, which vehicles do we have? Oh, we've only got seven. Again, that's a naffy. I think we can take more. Definitely. So let's uh, take care of you. And... What steel wagons do we have available to us? Uh, you go 62... Could use you perhaps. You go 75. Carry 14. Well, these box wagons stake steel as well. Actually, no, I'm sure there was a mod when I was looking at this. Uh, there it is. Right, 15, 75 miles an hour, and you're a bit cheaper. Because you're slower, that is, so we'll take you. I think, and we'll, again, we'll take ten of you. Um, no, let's see, let's see so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, heck! Oh, I like this! Let's just pause this for a second. I like these big Arctics. These big, are they called semis in America or something? Articulated lorries? These thundering great uh, wagons on the back. Oh, I like those. 40 ton trucks and a new double decker. Oh, is that a multi unit? Well, we'll have to look at that. <laughs> There's so much going on! Uh, right, what the heck was I doing? Oh, I was trying to replace this, wasn't I? Um, yeah, we want one more of those wagons on the back, I think. And uh, steel wagon, that was it. Good. Right, so we can replace you now. Ah, and you're coming up here. So we'll follow you, shall we? Just for a second. Again, the modded uh, wagons and stuff. Ah, now there is a mod which shows you the rolls of steel on the wagon, but I don't think that's currently available in this year of 1989. 
So that's excellent. So you're already taking a full concept, 150 rolls of steel. Now that feeds into our little hub here. And we do have a little shuttle train, which is you here. Do I need to increase the con your consist? Probably not. So we'll leave you for the moment. I've got lots of tools. That's good. Okay, now, in the end of the last episode, um, changing uh, direction entirely, we added in a new, really funky freight station here uh, to introduce a new food distribution network to this side of... Uh, this is actually the south. Uh, I've got the map upside down, as it were. So to the other side of the river, which is south. Um, and so this is... Uh, so if that's south, so this will be west. Southwest. <laughs> to distribute food to the sort of western end of the map. And possibly the south as well. Because what I was thinking of doing... And this is going to be a little bit of an engineering challenge. Is Because we've only got one route coming out of this food distribution... Uh, station here, uh, that's not going to survive. It's not going to be terribly profitable. So it'd be nice to send food to more places. Now, I was thinking of taking it across the river to Thatcham. We could take it out to Kimp. I'm going to leave because Kimp is the kind of the back of beyond over here, isn't it? So, yeah, <laughs> that would be that'd be an interesting challenge uh, through the mountains. But Thatcham already has a good. Um, cargo station. Where the hell? Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, so we've got a route into that, which is only being used to deliver fuel and construction materials from the hub here. So can we get that across there? Right, let's crack on. Let's get building that, shall we? Um, and we are using still diesels, aren't we? So what we've just got. Which lines have we got in use? Okay, so we could take this line out here. So we're going to use high speed. Super speed? Ooh, we don't need that just yet. High speed will do fine, I think. Right, so we'll, we'll stay... Uh, sawmill. Yeah, we're not quite getting enough. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Um, that comes on and goes off every now and then, depending on the frequency of deliveries from the sawmill and from the steel mill. So we'll take you out here, and we're going to go across the river. Let's go across that track as well. What we might try and do is if we can cut across here. I have a fairly short bridge. Yeah, might be. It's going to be a bit of a bendy track, I think. This one. So let's get you out from there. Go. Uh, no, it's not going to do that. It's going to do that. There we go. Right. Uh, let's get rid of that road. I don't want to cut across the road. At the risk of making our rail line lumpier than it needs to be. Is. And we've also got all sorts of inclines going on here. So could no, I think we need to take it over, don't we? That's too steep. Let's leave it there for the moment. And how about raising it? over this. No, oh, doesn't want to do that. That's because it's coming down again. Alright, okay. So, we are in possible bridge mode here. Let's curve it that way a bit, I think. I think we don't need to go much higher than that, so we'll top out there. Uh, I've added, uh, I think I've added it just uh, at this stage of this, the save game, um, a bridge and dam building and viaduct, for that matter, uh, bridge building mod, uh, which if you've watched the um, 
the One Hub Let's Play series as well. You'll have seen me using that before, but I don't think I've used it in this series as yet. It is rather it does add some rather nice new bridge types uh, to the game, which is all good. Let's take you there, and we're no longer going up. We are going to. Oops, not going to go there. We're going to go flat. I think that looks okay. That look okay. Okay, let's leave it there. Let's get the other line up just to make sure we don't have any problems with pillar collisions. Only bridges. Endlessly frustrating those can be. That's looking fine. Okay. So we need to get it across here somewhere. Yeah, if we, if we cut across here, that looks doable. And... Yeah, I think we need to keep it up in the air. That still, still leaves plenty of navigable water. And that'd be nice if it was... The navigation was through the centre. We didn't have pillars distracting too much from the path of the boats. Well, should we try, try it there? To be honest, I can try as many things as I like because I am in the. Whoops! Don't do that. I am in the money with a bank balance of over 1.5 billion. I am what you might call reasonably wealthy. Okay, so let's. Bring this down. Let's get rid of that bit of road. That confuses anybody? Like the AI. Too much slope. No, we're being silly now. Though that is actually a very tight corner. <laughs> yeah, that is a very tight corner. Can we bring the bridge down earlier? Perhaps I don't know. Actually, it looks okay there, doesn't it? No, we might. No, we might be all right. Okay, if we start there, say, can I bring that? I can indeed. Right. Ah. Is that going to be a problem? Because uh, that looks like I might have to clip that coal mine. And I, uh, I don't want to do that. More to the point, I don't think I can do that, actually. Uh, let's uh, smooth you out a little bit, just in case that makes any difference. Uh, is this bridge going to be impossible to do? After all. There's a bit of... Looks like a bit of slope there. If I stick that there. Excellent! you in. Down there. Okay, we just need to cut this across onto the track. You know, could do, which we could do actually is divert this existing track a little bit to give us more space. Um, let's see, we'll, we'll leave it in there. We'll leave it as, as Two tracks. Can I, can I get you out there? Yes. It's impressive how it works one way but not the other. And well, that looks a bit kinky, doesn't it? What's my speed's looking like? 
That's okay. It's, it's coming slow on the bridge, on the slope down, so we are losing quite a bit of speed. But that, no, we'll we'll leave it like that. We'll see how that works. Okay. So let's signal that up. And um, yeah, those signals are in quite the wrong place. Uh, we've got signals back here. We have. I'll put some. Ah, it's, um, you, yes, I need to use the, the UK signals because we're travelling on the left. And we will stick you there. Got outgoing signals there. That's fine, I think. Yep. Yeah, we don't. You're, you're an appropriate signal. Could do a spring. Bring that one forward a bit, I think. There we go. Yep, that will do nicely, I think. And on the bridge. Oh, this is a very curvy, kinky bridge. I'm not entirely sure my architects, my engineers will be entirely happy with that, but place it on the correct side of the track. There you go. We're not going to be running. Oh, another year has passed. Goodness gracious, where does the time... Oh, we've got a new aeroplane. Oh, some funky new buses. Uh, and you notice that red flashing light about the sawmill? That's gone. Right, so I'm going to pause this so I don't get too carried away in terms of time passing. And uh, new vehicles becoming available, which I should have used in my earlier replacements. But uh, Opportunities missed. You can't, you can't worry about that. Okay, so that... And there. Right, so we need a new line. And this is going to be from here to there. Right, that's working it. It's double tracking along all the way. That's cool. Right, and this will be what colour? What colour should we make this? Um, we're already using that colour. So, even darker colour? Nah, they're, they're horrible. We'll use the bright yellow instead. Okay, so this is going to be the Hatcham Food Bulk. Okay. So we're going to need a tray. Uh, yeah, we've got a depot here. You'll do nicely. And diesels. Do we have any funky new diesels? Come on, tap. 62. I'd like something. It's a, it's a, it's a fairly longish route, isn't it? Although it's very kinky. <laughs> it's very kinky indeed. Never mind. Um, so I want something a little bit. 87. That's quite a nice speed. So are you. The only issue with the freight line is actually, although you don't have a great deal of power, attractive effort is quite good. Running costs are nice and low. We've got 87, which is cool. What else do we have here? City Barn. A, a train called City Barn doesn't seem appropriate for a country food delivery run. Um, you're quite nice. 218. You're all 218. You're different uh, liveries. No, you're right. You're a. You're a all right, I love these. They're, they're nice and fast. Um, and expensive. I think we're going too fast for our food wagons. Let's actually stick the, the British Rail 37 in there. See how that does. So freight. What have we got? Uh, so we're going 87 is our maximum. So we don't need to go much faster than that. Are these tank cars. I thought some one of these tank cars took food. 
I might have just been imagining it. I probably was. Nope. Okay. Uh, you don't. No. Well, I'll put you. Take food. You're an old wagon. You take food as well. Use you quite a lot. You are very good for that. We could try using a newer one. Ikea? No, that's not really. Porsche? No, you're not really food. Um, you'll go 75, which is a bit slow. Oh, let's no, let's use this one. Let's use this one. It takes more. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's stick eight on there. Just to show willing, I think. And you are going to be on a new Thatcher and Food Bulk line. Splendid. Okay, there's another modded uh, depot. It's a long... Oh, it takes its time coming out. Oh, we've got workbenches and everything in there. That is so good. Oh, come on, hurry up. <laughs> I've got all day, mate. And it's a lovely sounding loco as well. It's really... sounding... mechanical and stuff. <laughs> Uh, speed isn't too bad. It's not too good at slopes, though. That's the power for you, I suppose. Okay, so that's... Uh, I'm just pausing that for a second because I don't want to get too carried away while I deal with something else. We've also got one other food route, which is on the other side of the map here, uh, where we've only got one delivery uh, point, which is food here. This I was sending, you may recall a few episodes ago, I was sending food from here, or indeed livestock and everything else, down here to the machine plant. But that was just getting confusing, and trains were clogging up. And, and it was just getting confusing. I was getting stuff sent down to the main hub here, uh, food and livestock, which was good because it was sending uh, profits to different parts of the map. But I think it just compromised the the functionality, the use of the sawmill and the machine plant here. Um, they were just getting confused by taking livestock and foodstuffs away. It was just getting in the way. So we're delivering food here to Thiel. It would be nice to send food elsewhere, like, say, to Bristol. That's a nice, nice long route, isn't it? Right. So uh, we probably don't want to... What we could do... So we could branch off here, I think, and send another set of tracks scurrying along here. Now, we've got a cargo station in Bristol. Ah, we don't. So this is our first. Okay, so where is our... Right, so actually, oh, a cargo station going in here. That abuts the, uh, the retail zone quite nicely there, doesn't it? Well, that's cool. Um, or do we want to pass through? I think we'll, no, we'll put a terminal station in here. What's that zigzag going along here? And if we then want to send food out here to Yate, we could just have it peeling off from the track and either going round the long way, round here, or going off here, cutting across the passenger track. Yeah, I think I'm quite liking that idea. Should we stick a station in here? Let's do that. So we want a terminal cargo station. What do we have here? There we go. And we'll make it a proper long one. We'll put two tracks in there, just, just in case. Oh, a bit of a slope in there. Can we slopey this one? And, oh, we can't. How annoying is that? Hmm. Right. So if we stick you. Oops, let's move the map correctly. Uh, oh, so we want to be here, don't we? Ah, right, okay, so the slope's not so much of an issue if we stick it out here. Just a line up a bit like that, perhaps. 
Yeah, that's cool. Actually, can we set our second um, second street connection on the end there, just in case we want to do that? Right. Uh, let's put some roads in there. Uh, we will just make them ordinary medium streets, I think. Ooh, there's a gap in there. Can we get there? Oh, that's sweet. Good. Even without needing to destroy any buildings as well. Right. Uh, so we will stick. Uh, I think we'll put our normal slim large roads on there. Which style are we using in this town? Using that style. That's good. I'll bring that out here as well. I like to keep the road styles consistent within a city. Just well, just because really. <laughs> uh, that's going to be too close, I think. I don't particularly need it to be bus laned there, but I'm going to do it anyway. Are you not going to give me a straight across? No, of course you're not. Can I take that up to there? You do work, that is most excellent. Just gives me that bit more um, flexibility and choices in terms of what routes my trucks might need to take. Okay, so let's get our... Right, so there's a good chunk of retail space up here which I need to send trucks to. Right, so we're using all these streets. I like to, it's nice to, if you can, to keep, right, there's a spot. So if we stick a cargo station in here, that shouldn't interrupt the passenger bus routes too much. Uh, yeah, I think that will work. Got. I've got lots of oh, I've got lots of funky new <laughs> bus stops on here as well. Um, I'll play with those later. We're not looking at bus routes now. Will this fit in here? I'm not sure it, it will. The, the, the issue, of course, is because I'm using. I might fit in there. Because I'm using a slim mod, a slim road mod, it doesn't always match up perfectly with... The trouble is I can't delete that, can I, without losing all those buildings. I don't like losing buildings. No, we'll stick, um, we'll stick a, a, a parking area in here. That will do nicely. Okay, and we will call you... Uh, the Retail Crescent. It's a stupid name for a stop, but there you go. <laughs> uh, which means we need a cargo stop here. Uh, we could stick. Do we want a proper turnaround or a little? I think we want a proper cargo station here, don't we, really? We'll stick a, an ordinary one in, I think small one a small one for, for whoops don't do that a small one for now I think but of course having a small one in there I'm using large for in town delivery I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to be using the big pantechnicans the big articulated semis or whatever uh, so I think we should be okay for that in fact do I want to put it up here could do uh, we'll have a little bit of road actually though, just to connect it. Uh, a little bit of medium street. We don't need bus lanes on there. Just to keep them out of the way of the traffic. Okay, and where was that? Uh, there you go. You look good. 
Right, what's that station called? Bristol Halt, that will do. Bristol Central, no, you're not Bristol Central. Can't spell car, can't even spell cargo. Good grief, what, <laughs> what is going on? Um, what should we call this one? Um, this will be the Bristol Warehouse. Yeah, because that's where the goods will be stored until the trucks come and pick them up and send them out. Right, so what we need, we need a new truck line in here. And this will be a nice, uh, nice dark yellow colour. For, actually, no, we'll make it blue. We'll make it kind of blue uh, for uh, for commercial. See, it all kind of makes sense after a fashion. Uh, you're going up there. That's good. And what route are you taking? That's good. Yeah, not interfering too much with the buses, and you won't be interfered with too much by the buses either. So that's fine, I think. Yep, that should do nicely. So this is going to be, where are we? Bristol. The local distribution of stuff. Right, and I want to put some wagons on that. Where's me? Ah, oh, there you are. Road vehicles. Do we have any new ones? Any new freight wagons coming in? Oh, yes, we've got these big ones, haven't we? As we spotted earlier. Uh, I think they're probably a little bit too big for this sort of in-town distribution, so I'll stick with a smaller one. Um, so that, that's... I've used, I think I've used that one elsewhere. That's, that's a really nice one. Um, how many do you take? You take 32. You take 20. Um... Oh, this is probably the food. Yeah, it was probably yes. It was this truck, I think, which takes food as well as as, as liquid and grain. Which I think you, yeah, you can so you can get milk. Milk is a food stuff, is it not? Indeed, of course. Yes, um, oh, that's a grain hopper. It's, oh, these are lovely mods. <laughs> okay, we'll stick this little single box fan in there. I think uh, we'll stick three in there, and you can all go on the Bristol local distribution. Uh, uh, all of you, that is, not just the one. I will colour you blue as well. Super sexy. Right, so you'll be ready to go when I get this train line finished. Okay, right. Uh, train line. Okay, we're not going to use super speed, not, not for a, a cargo line, because they don't... Let's get rid of that road. All going to annoy me. Let's get you out there. And out there. Put a little switchy roo in there. Splendid. Uh, signal it up while I'm here and thinking about it. Okay, and of course we'll be coming in from this direction. There you go. And we'll put two more signals here for the approach. Again, um, actually we might need to, to start off with a couple of trains. Anyway, because this is going to be quite a long route. Okay, so yeah, if we skirt around the base of this mountain, Fine, I think. What's my gradients looking like? Mm. Down here or up there? I was tempted to go up there, but I don't think. I think I'll actually go. Yeah, let's go around the base. I think. Yeah, I think that's looking okay. Bring the second line along, just to make sure we don't have any. Collisions with roads or terrain, that's good. And then, oh, we will cut across that one field. Oh, well, never mind. But actually, it's in a bit of a dip. I'm not sure if it's in much of a dip. I think it was, um, 
I think it was one of the Colonel's videos I was watching. One of his last, um, it was a good series or two ago. <laughs> uh, and well, no, it might be his, his current um, Metropolis series. Or was that one he did before? I don't know. I think, it's, yes, it was a series he was doing. And he put a bridge across a field and it didn't delete it. Ah, so you don't waste money by having to... Uh, because if I took that out, you see, I'd, I'd lose the field and it would cost me a lot more. By putting that in. Okay, it cost me more because I'm building a bridge, but I'm not losing the field, which is nice. Uh, okay, so what sort of bridge should we put in here? Ooh, what's that? Oh, that is sexy. Another mod. Um, should we use that one? Well, it does look super modern. Um, yes, again, this is a modded one, so I will put that in the uh, in the description. It does look good. Okay, it's not strictly a viaduct, seeing as we're not actually. It shouldn't be called a viaduct. What's going on here? Why are you playing silly beggars? Right, if you're there. No, okay, maybe I was moving the cursor inappropriately. Um, it's not really a viaduct because it's not carrying. No, it's a viaduct. It's an aqueduct. It's an aqueduct that carries water, isn't it? So I'm just getting my terms mixed up. Okay, bring you down to the ground. Okay, we need to get rid of you. And there we go. Yeah, it's yeah, so a viaduct carries road or rail. I think it. Can, I think it can carry both, can't it? I'm not entirely certain. But an aqueduct is definitely a, uh, a bridging structure which carries water for the days of the old canals and the like. And we used to transport goods by, by, by water, by canal. Right, that's okay. I think we're looking good here. So we bring that in. We don't need the gradients anymore. Go away. Say so click precisely and it knows what you're after. Bring that in. Yeah, I think we're looking okay. Should we bring that just about here and then find a, a suitable snap point? We'll put this next uh, section in. Yeah, we're not crossing over. We are just. Is it? There we go. I think that's connected. <laughs> yeah, that's all one nice continuous stretch of track, which is what we're after. That's cool. Right. And let's, we'll carry the uh, the four track section along here, and then we'll break off. Or do we want to break off after the bridge? Yeah, actually, I think yes, that makes more sense. I think engineering-wise, it makes more sense to to break off here. That does like going very, very slowly, doesn't it? On these long crossovers. No. Okay. Well, if you want them to be parallel, it is, I think it's a problem. You can't have too, too long a switch. Okay, and you will join me there. Excellent. Right, what signals do we want? So that's your coming out of the... Ooh, there's a... Uh, uh, no, that route. Yeah, that's... What is th oh, that's that's fine. Yeah, that's 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 fine. Um, yeah, it looks a bit odd there. Yes, yeah, so that's something going in there. So traveling that way. No, I no that that signal is isn't on. No, can't have you there. You need to be the other side of all the junctions. 
Okay, so we'll stick you there. Likewise, whoop, can I put, there you go, you can go there. And, actually there's no train going along that way because it always cuts back into, into Thiel. I think I could smooth that up a bit actually, couldn't I? But, uh, we need you, whoops, there. That's good. Um, you're cutting across that way. That's okay. Uh, could do with another signal. Oh, we've got one there. That's okay. I didn't see that one there. Right. I think that will work. Well, while I'm here, let's smooth this. These grotesque cuts out a little bit. Make them a little bit more seemly. Nicely. Can we improve that embankment a little? We can. Nice. And you? You're nearly. Okay. There we go. It doesn't look like such a horrific abuse of the of the landscape anymore. Anything else on the other side of the bridge? I think you're generally okay. Right, so what we need is a new route going from. Where's where's the factory? There you are. No, not you. This factory here. Oh, do we need another? Uh, no, I think we're okay. I think we're yeah. I think we're okay. So we want one in there. You're going all the way out here to Bristol. Right. Okay, that looks good that end. How good are you at the other end? Yep, that looks fine. I really don't like that grey colour. Should we make it orange? That looks good. Okay, so this is going to be food bulk. That's splendid. Right, now the issue we've got, of course, is I don't know, we don't have a convenient locomotive depot. No, it's going to have to come all the way up here, and I'm not sure if the depot will do that. Let's see if we have not to trick it. Okay, what trains do we have? Again, we're going diesel. Oh, we have got some really funky. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, it's so tempted. Built in 1987. Wow, sounds a little unlikely, but there you are. Well, they're still building. Oh, this is Germany. Ah, or, or somewhere European. 4K version for high performance systems. Oh, I might you know. <laughs> I'm not sure my my PC, my computer is quite up for high performance. No. Um, okay. So you're quite powerful, the 47. Could use you. 95 is a good speed for a long distance. And it's not as if we're carrying cattle. Uh, which might be uh, a little disturbed and distressed by going at such an uh, extraordinary speed. Something else is 75 or 87. Uh, I'm, I use a lot of these Battle Rye um, German tri uh, locos. So let, yeah, let's uh, go for a UK 47. So which one have we got? Is there a, they're all from 62. So they're all a little bit long in the tooth at this point. But, uh, Swallow, that's the Intercity. Inter the Swallow was uh, passenger lines uh, for anyone who's not familiar with the, the UK, the British uh, rail insignia, but you probably are to be honest wherever you're from, uh, be being a fan of this game. Uh, we'll use rail freight. I'm not sure if we use the green one. Oh, we'll use the green one. What the heck. 
Right, so what wagons do we have to carry food in that goes at 95 miles an hour? Is it going to be those naffies again? You're all going quite slowly. You go 99. Oh, we could use you. Again, your old wagons. You're only 13, though. Yeah, and the naff is only 14, though, to be honest. So, yeah, if I want that sort of speed, it looks like... You're 75. You do carry food. I want to go 99 or thereabouts if I can. No, it looks like it's going to be one of these or the naffy. Let's... Uh, I'm using the covered wagons quite a lot. We'll use the more modern wagon. 99, that's fine. And we can stick... Uh, how many have I got on there? 10. That will do, I think, for now. Yep, let's let's try that, actually. How... Oh, we got good performance, so that's fine. Yep, that, that looks good, actually. Uh, we 10 should be good. I think we might stick another train on there anyway, as time takes off. Now, can I stick you on the Thatch... Um, that's like the Bristol food bulk. No. <laughs> because there's no... it doesn't know it can get there. You can, you know. You definitely can. Now, what route? Uh, it's the machines one. If I stick you on the machines route... Um, so, which one's that? Falmouth Industrial? Falmouth... no. Oh, what was that route called? Uh, oh, it's called Machinery Bulk. I thought it was. I just didn't have faith in my memory. Right, we'll send him in that direction to start with. And once he's uh, up going in that way, up towards uh, the farms. Unfortunately, this is quite a busy bit of network. Busy part of the network, obviously. Maybe I could do with another another depot somewhere else, <laughs> more conveniently located. All right, can you get out now? There you go. Ah, I know you're being held up by that one. So you're good. Oh, it's a very mean green, isn't it? Nice though, okay. So just go up to Falmouth Machines. Now once it gets up to up that way, can I actually put him on the oh, he's going up in this direction. Will he be able to find his way to the Bristol Food Bulk? Oh we could! Excellent! Right! So it looks like we've got that working. So let's uh, wait for our man to get up there. While we're, at, while we're doing that, how are our boats doing? Ooh, okay. So it looks like we've cut down on the number of passengers waiting, but are they still financially viable? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is... I'm very reassuring. Okay, so although they are now carrying fewer passengers per vehicle, because they're going that much faster. Excellent. Um, and uh, the traffic is still busy there. It might have eased a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we probably, need, we probably do need rail links across the, the water there to get all those fast passengers... Oh, you're at the food manufacturing plant already. Um, but there's no food waiting to go to Bristol. Not yet. Let's 
follow you along. Let's go a little bit faster, shall we? For our trucks. Yeah, our trucks are moving through Bristol. That's fine. Oh, and of course, uh, Thatcham. We just put a new freight route into Thatcham, didn't we? For food. How's that train doing? Where the heck is it? Is that you there? Yes, you are. Is there food waiting for you? Yes, there. Oh, there is quite a bit of food, actually. That's cool. Now, I didn't actually check the food distribution in Thatcham, did I? Um, but uh, that looks to be okay. I really love this station rod. That is so sexy. <laughs> Moving parts and everything. That is just awesome. Right, uh, so what is... Oh, actually, because, yes, the um, there are trucks ob obviously already servicing this uh, this cargo station. where they, There it is. Um, so that should be fine. But if we just check the land use, yeah, that should be okay. So what, uh, what lines do we have here for... Thatcham Commercial, no. Thatcham Construction Delivery. Vehicle 56 is getting old, is it? Yeah, I'll deal with those, possibly off camera. Um, it might not, depends on what vehicles I can put on there. Yeah, we might look at the uh, passenger routes again uh, in the next episode, I think, because we have got a lot of passengers waiting at some of our stations now. Uh, so we need to address that. So, and I was looking at this... Uh, so that goes from there up to there. Hmm. So does that cover? Uh, it doesn't really cover the retail zone, does it? So I think we'll need to. Okay. Um. Actually, can I just put in? No. Okay. This episode is getting rather long, so we will finish it here and now. And I will look at that uh, either off camera if it's a very simple thing to do, or I might uh, I might allow you to watch me <laughs> attempt to put another cargo stop in there. That probably won't be terribly exciting, but there you go. Okay. So he's going in there, and he's we'll watch him deliver his uh, last load. Oh, it's just those. Yeah, that, that's just a matter of frequency of delivery. Again, we can address that at some point in the future. It goes on and off every now and then. So. There he is. Are you making money, my friend? 409k, that's not too bad. In your first year of operation, I'm okay with that. That will pick up, I'm sure. Anyway, yes, that will be it for now. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this little episode. And if you have, uh, do leave us a like. And even better, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, criticisms even, of what we're doing in this particular series, then just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be amazing. be great to hear from you. And of course, if you've not done so already, why not subscribe to the channel? And that way you'll know whenever I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But for now, from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever, until the next time, bye-bye for now.